The real estate market has done a complete 180 and sellers are now the ones trying to get you to purchase their home. Today, we're gonna cover all the different seller concessions that you can use as a bargaining chip when putting in an offer. Wanna learn how you can save some serious cash? Keep watching. Nicole Ruth, Senior Vice President of the Ruth Team with One Trust Home Loans. And before we get started with today's video, if you enjoy our content, please give this video a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. So what is a seller concession? I mean, that's kind of like a dinosaur these days. I haven't seen one of those in several years. So a seller concession is when they agree to provide funds that supports the buyer during the transaction. You can bump into a seller concession several times throughout the transaction. Usually it's in the beginning. A buyer might use a negotiating tactic that says, I'll pay full price, but I'm gonna ask the seller to pay for all of my closing costs and my prepaids, allowing me to come to the table with less cash down. They might also negotiate a price reduction in addition to a seller concession. Those are two separate items and can be used in conjunction or separate from one another. A seller concession can also show up during the inspection period where you might choose to not have something fixed, but in lieu, get money back from the seller, again, towards prepaids and closing costs or a price reduction. So there's sometimes a conversation right now about a 2-1 buy down or a rate reduction, and that might be a seller concession. I wanna double click on that because a seller concession can only be used towards a buyer's prepaids and closing costs. There are limits to what a seller can provide, both per the loan that the buyer uses, and we're gonna talk about that next week, so make sure to come back or how much you have in closing costs and prepaids. So as a lender, we're looking at what is the best financial solution for you as a buyer at this price point. And we know interest rates have been going up. So a lot of lenders are talking about a 321 or 21 or 10 buy down. And you can use a seller concession in order to pay for that. So what are those things? A 3-2-1, a 2-1, and a 1-0. They're the same thing, but for different lengths of time. A 3-2-1 means that I am going to buy down the effective interest rate, which makes my monthly payment lower, three years, then two years, then one year. 3% the first year, 2% the second year, 1% the third year. And to simplify it, the 2-1 is the same, it's just, 2% the, se- the first year, 1% the second year, and a 1-0, 1% the first year, zero uh, and going forward. So is it really the interest rate that's getting lower? No, it's a seller concession going into an escrow account that is going to help the buyer make their monthly payment for that period of time, one year, two years, three years, at making your payment effectively lower. High interest rates is affecting everybody. It's making the price of the home on your monthly budget so much more challenging today. But you can get in with these negotiating tactics that you couldn't get the last two years, where you can get a seller to help you take off some of the pressure from the high interest rates. You can also do a permanent reduction. The cost of that is gonna be different and it will depend on the rates on how much you can actually buy it down. So you want the lender to show you what all the options are. What is my, if I have a certain amount of seller concession, what is my option with a buy down or permanent buy down? Or do I just use it for closing costs only? Having access to a seller concession or being able to negotiate a seller concession is new and it's something buyers are taking advantage of and capitalizing on this time in the market, this time where it feels like we're heading back towards a balanced market. And I say that very cautiously because there are still only a few months of inventory, which means if this turns around 
and we do see interest rates drop, we're gonna lose the opportunity of seller concessions and, and discount on prices because there will be more buyers that come out on the market. So take advantage today of optimizing a seller concession and then when rates go down, refinance. It's a perfect win-win.